One, go! Okay. Onwards, on to the next match. We have Mr. E and Utopian Ray. Now, Ray going Banjo. I definitely know he loves his Banjo, which can definitely work out pretty well, but um, I'm kind of looking for Mr. E to play Mutual a lot more safely. Just because of Bomb kind of being that threat and nice movement coming out from Mr. E and trying to get that up smash to kind of keep him back in disadvantage and getting hit by Bomb again. I really like the um, Z drop. Kind of just playing with Bomb. Maybe playing with a li little bit too much, but um. Ooh. Almost dying off of that recovery. Nice back air. Are we going to see a... Uh, ooh. Definitely nice um, La Trapping coming out from... Uh, I think that was um, Legend of Invincibility running out. But very nice coming in from um, Utopian Ray. And dying to Nair off the side. This is um, Town and City, so we're going to see a lot of uh, the, the short blast zones coming into play here. Kind of just blowing himself up there. Nice carry. Kind of um, putting him back off stage now. I kind of like the way um, Utopian Ray is kind of just playing around neutral here. Just because he's not like really committing to much, but like he's also kind of forcing Mr. E to commit to something by kind of catching um, the bombs and oh, wasting two of his um, Wonder Wings there. I think that's what it's called. Um, um, oh, I, I guess maybe that meant the other way. He definitely could have died. I've definitely seen Banjo kill a lot early at um, those kind of high percents. Now I feel like um, Ray's kind of getting to committing a lot more, especially because he knows that he's um, it's definitely kill percent for him. But I guess knowing that um, his really only damaging move is probably forward throw and um, wondering. And I definitely like the way I, I guess this is kind of why um, they wanted to go to um, town, just because of how um, it kind of makes recovering easier for Utopian Ray when. He has to keep in mind his usage of Wonder Wing. Definitely kind of just running in there. I definitely like the amount of times he's kind of just like choosing when he wants to run in, but I definitely feel like it could be a lot better the way he's kind of. Oh! An, a Wonder Wing at 176%. <laughs> now, this is definitely. I like the high recovery there. Oh. Ooh. Definitely like the punish there. And pairing his own bomb. Very nice. And trying... I don't know. I guess that looked like a little bit of a um, misinput. But um, now has no Wonder Wings available. So kind of curious to see what Mr. E is going to do to definitely kind of capitalize that. Even though like it is his last dock. So I guess it's not going to really worry much anyways. And killing with the up, to, um, the up air. Sorry. Ooh. Nice wood ring coming in. I definitely feel like we can see a lot of edge trapping, um, ledge trapping, sorry, coming out from um, Utopian Ray, but definitely keeping stage control now. Is that gonna be. Nope. Ooh. Ooh, not, not yet. Probably up smash? Oh, up tilt. Not taking the kill. Oh. <laughs> Kind of uh, looking like he's a little bit funny that he didn't kill, but this is... Wow. Again, up tilt didn't kill, but definitely going to be seeing that up smash kill. So, kind of curious to see what Mr. E is going to do to kind of, um, you know, make the adaptions that he needs to to be able to um, kind of get the read on Utopian Ray's um, banjo. Stop. 
Now, going to Battlefield, um, I'm kind of curious to see how Mr. E is going to want to use this to advantage, especially since how if we saw last game, um, Utopian Ray kind of used the the platforms that kind of came at um, in Town and City to kind of just use it to help recover better for high recoveries instead of kind of trying to lower low and um, you know uses um, Wonder Wings very sparingly. Approaching with um, forward tilt, I kind of like. I feel like he kind of just went over bomb a little bit because of the way it was thrown. But oh, nice. Kind of just like maneuvering around um, bombs as well as um, getting that tech chase read and using it to kind of um, mix up his recovery, making sure that E doesn't try to um, hit him out with it with like an up smash or something. But uh, dying there thanks to um, Lucina up tilt. <laughs> nice. And very nice. Um, reading uh, <laughs> the get up attack from Mr. E. Um, I kind of just started a sentence without, um, really, <laughs> with saying, and I'm so sorry, but, um, I do feel like looking at it, um, Utopian Ray could definitely be using a lot more of, um, Wonder Wing. I, I, I'm, I, I feel like I'm calling it by the wrong move. I don't know. Um, just not only as a recovery tool, but I don't feel like he's using it too much at like the percents where Lucina would most likely die. I definitely know um, Lucina is a um, midway and seeing it right there, killing at 60-ish, 70% off the side. Very nice coming in from Utopian Ray. Having a very nice lead, very comfortable lead. If he just plays a little bit more patience and kind of just be careful with his recovery, he can definitely um, turn this into a very favorable lead. And trying to two-frame Mr. E with the uh, recovery. Almost. Looking like E's a uh, struggling a little bit to kind of find the kill. And taking the stock. Now, Sophie Ray does have a very comfortable lead. Um, we could definitely start seeing him playing a little bit more reserved and kind of just playing the keep away game in neutral. Just making sure that Mr. E has to kind of really find his way in. That was definitely looking like a um, up smash. And nope, not yet. Not going to get the kill. Nice recovery and covering in from uh, Mr. E. And is it going to be up till? Ooh, not yet. Ooh, just barely missing that up smash. Getting very antsy. This could definitely spell really bad. Ooh, not killing at 160%. I'm very surprised. This this has to be the kill. And very nice. A very nice, very nice, very nice 2-0 coming in from Mr. Utopian Ray. Very fast. I, I, I don't know how long that lasted. I mean, I guess. Wait, that def. Wait, hold on. Hold. 